Thanks, Scott. Police were called to a reported disturbance at the downtown bar that you see behind me. Uh, initial reports are that the members of a local ministry had attempted to confront a religious man that had entered this particular bar. One member of the group that is a patron told News 3 that the man that entered the bar claimed to be, quote, the Messiah of the Bible, end quote. Uh, News 3 was able to catch up with a different bar patron who uh, asked not to be on camera, but offered uh, this account of what happened inside the bar. He said that the man came in by himself, sat at the bar beside several other patrons, and after some light conversation initially, uh, he then began to disclose exclusive details about each one of the people at the bar, things that even their spouses didn't know about them. Uh, then he told them that he was the son of God. He said then that he didn't judge them, uh, their lives, or for the fact that they were in the bar, he just wanted them to know that he loved them and accepted them just the way that they were. He then showed them his hands and uh, had huge scars, according to this patron. Uh, he told them that their sins, no matter what they were, could be forgiven. He said he paid the price for those sins, uh, that he was sentenced to death on uh, their behalf, and that, uh, in fact, that that's why he uh, went to a cross in order to pay for their sins so that they could be forgiven. He said uh, that uh, everyone in the bar was very taken aback by this, pretty blown away and stunned by it, naturally, as anyone would be. We talked to a second man also about what happened, and uh, he reported that the man said his name was Jesus of Nazareth in northern Israel. Uh, he was, of course, uh, or is Jewish, that he said he came down from heaven 2,000 years ago uh, as God, but he came in the form of man, and he did so in order to save the world from its sins. But he said the religious leaders of the day had him crucified, but that after three days, he rose from the dead uh, to show that he was, in fact, the son of God and that he had the power over death. The patrons said that he got up to leave. And as he did, this Jesus invited them to go for coffee if they wanted to talk some more. So our, our crew observed him leaving the bar. And uh, as he did, the protesters outside began to denounce him for hanging out with, quote, drunks and ladies of the night, end quote. Uh, he responded to this by saying, I didn't come to save the righteous, but those that need help, just as a physician helps those uh, that know themselves to be sick. Ignoring their further chastisement, uh, that is the protesters, uh, this gentleman headed towards the coffee shop where our news crew is headed after this report, hopefully to get an interview with this very unusual man. So something pretty unusual happening here downtown. Uh, we hope to have more for you on this developing situation at 10 o'clock. But that's it for now. We'll send it back to you in the studio, Scott.